Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Educated Persia, where we're playing as Persia in Victoria 3 and we are going for the Educated Achievement, which is to complete the Learn the Game journal entries. We haven't gotten any in a while, but um, our country is quite strong. Um, we managed to get ourselves back out of our f accidentally going into the French uh, Customs Union, which we did not want to do. We do currently have a temporary alliance with the Ottomans. And we're going to hold on to it at least for a little bit. They do have a pretty good sized army and might be helpful against the Russians at some point. Um, I definitely would like to find a way to get someone to force recognition for me, but uh, a lot of our options for that are not the best. Um, it would involve a naval invasion and except in the instance of going after Russia, but Russia is very strong, so I don't know about going after Russia. Um, let's see here. We currently try to enact private schools. Uh, we are in a little bit of um, financial strains, um, but nothing that is too concerning. Uh, do we have any government administration on the deck? I see none. So we're going to want to build up a little bit more of that. Um, so Tabriz, Western Afghanistan, Eastern Afghanistan are the prime options. So we'll build more in all of those. And I'm actually going to move those up to the top of the uh, of what we need and then I'm also gonna go ahead and build some more railways to help with our issues with um, market access our government is fluctuating between unacceptable and contested that's not great but we mostly went to this government so we could enact private schools because I feel like that is going to be really helpful for getting our um, literacy up. And there we go. That has been enacted. And we are still in autocracy. So... See, I do not like that this guy is this. We'll make him a general. Hopefully we can get him to die in battle. That would be primo for us, because him being allied to the Shia is not great. It's definitely causing us quite a few issues with trying to pass laws... So now that we got private schools through and private health insurance, we could go towards public health insurance. Um, no one's super opposed to it, the industrialists are, but I don't know, we could go for a national militia, not something I really want to do. And I don't think I would want to enact poor laws just yet. Do not think we're going to be able to get the Zeppelins in time for this mission. So yeah, we'll slap down a couple road maintenance edicts. And since we're not really using this to pass laws at the moment, let's go through and throw out a services tax. Our GDP is continuing to climb. We still have more loyalists than radicals. Our population is in a nice steady increase. And our standard link continues to crawl up slowly but surely. So we're in good shape there too. Um, 
Let's just lower the radicals. That's fine by me. Metropolitan Police has been completed. And uh, let's go ahead and boost up our home affairs as well. Everything we can do to reduce our issues from turmoil combined with other things is going to help us out. We can stop doing road maintenance here. I could swap again to trying out some violent suppression. I feel like if I can just get those places built up, we won't have any issues. So that is more what I am focusing towards at the moment. Yeah, none of these are really worth it because it's not like we're struggling with workers yet. So there's no need to do any of that. We did activate some of our transportation edicts just so our transportation was doing its thing. I'm going to go ahead and do first aid on my armies. That should help us out in any wars we do. I think following their vice is not a bad idea, so we'll do that. I could vassalize Egypt. That would be a ton of infamy, though. But I could do it. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy of me, I think. Okay, Great Britain is slowly consolidating this region. They've isolated all of these uh, guys near Lake Victoria. And that is fine by me. I'm not really stressed about that. We'll let this stuff all keep building. Uh, I believe coal mines... Coal was one of my products where we were struggling quite a bit. And this will completely flip that. The only other thing we're really struggling with at this point is wood. And there's not much we can do to change that outside of... Well, outside of maybe annexing somebody else. Alright, we can go ahead and drop this services tax. Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. I'll just keep letting my gold reserves build up. That's fine. Um, we're already there. We're working on text. We have already got all that set up. It is the year 1900. Russia has a lot of men. I do want to do quite a bit to build up my military, so throwing a bunch of barracks down is not too concerning for me. Now we need to boost our market access in Afghanistan, huh? So we'll throw down a couple railways. Really get them going. The barracks will get built very, very quickly. I have no concerns there. Um, die we are struggling with, so we can't build any more of that. 
And we don't have synthetics plants yet, so we can't use that either. Okay, there we go. Labor movement. I will do a trade agreement with you, that's fine. Maybe we'll go ahead and swap like this. Would that allow us to do anything interesting? Appointed bureaucrats. Let's go for those. See what that can change for us. We could weaken our landowners even more. That is one reason why the landowners were still so powerful. Was due to that law. Oil discovered in Nejd, huh? Okay, our barracks have all built up, so our army is going to be a lot bigger. Now we're just waiting for these railroads to build. One, two, one, two, and um, Isfahan, two. Build up some more government administration buildings. We can continue boosting up institutions once those are built. I will take a trade agreement with Austria. That's fine. And I would like to boost up the intelligentsia, so doing that is perfectly fine with me. Like I said, I would like to return these states that were stolen from me uh, before the game started. I think that's something we definitely want. Um, I think that's fine. No real concerns there. Our GDP continues to skyrocket. Now, I don't want to go all in on steamships, but I would like to start building them. So. If I do that and I switch to ironclads here, how do we look? And then what if I insist on build up a couple more of those and then even a couple more regular shipyards as well. Okay, there we go. We have appointed bureaucrats now, so that's going to adjust quite a few things. We do have an available decision. We can survey a skyscraper site, so let's do that. It's going to be a little expensive for us, but we can get that taken care of soon. And then let's also go through and figure out what else we can do to upgrade our country. We don't want to lower our taxes, that's for sure. Do not want religious schools, do not want charity hospitals. 
We do not want migration controls. I could go up to state religion, but no, I don't think we want to do that either. We don't want to go to isolationism, that's for sure. Protectionism would be a little better, so let's try and get protectionism in place. We're definitely short on ironclads, too. And I did see it said we had an explosive shortage. Uh, let's upgrade the paper mills with water tube boilers. Mechanized looms as well. And then I would like to boost up my explosives industry, so we'll get a couple more of them on the queue. Paper also needs upgraded, so... Get those built up. And all the shipyards that we're building too will help fix our naval issues. But getting ironclads in our uh, fleet is definitely going to help us out. I don't even know if I should keep pushing for this. I mean, maybe we'll try one more time, see if we can get a better result on a roll. And we're really short on ironclads and dye. There's literally nothing I can do about the dye unless I import some from somewhere. Uh, the Austrian market, we have free rain over, so. We can import some ironclads too just to help us out for a little bit. Uh, we do not want to slow down production, so let's just let it keep pushing. Still haven't fixed the ironclad shortage either. And there is nothing we can do about the wood still correct. Nothing. There we go, that's a little boost to that. What's our military looking like? We're up to 130 battalions. And then we'll go ahead and get ourselves at least one more general. Promote him as well. We've urbanized Persia. There we go. Trade agreement with France. I'll take that. And there we go. We can build synthetics plants now. That will be helpful because we need dye. So, let's really get them churning. I'm 
We really do have buildings flying up everywhere. I think I can stop suppressing the landowners now. They're not that powerful anymore. And the intelligentsia and the industrialist being that powerful uh, really makes me happy. Okay, his heir is part of the landowner's interest group. You're getting no luck. The Shahs will be done. We would very much like to get protectionism through. market access in Laristan. We're gonna need to fix that so let's build up some more railroads. And I'll even throw a port there as well. And our government could be a lot worse. We're doing pretty decent right now actually. And we got protectionism through, so... Unless I want to upgrade this to public health insurance... Or upgrade this to poor laws... I really don't think I want to do poor laws, though. I think... Yeah, let's try and get public health insurance through. And market access in Tabriz is being affected again as well, so we'll throw another railroad there. We can build up some more ports. Maybe even some... More barracks is just really load up our army. And we can also build our skyscraper. Oh! They want us to enact poor laws, so... Looks like you are getting what you want. We can stop the revolution, that'll help us with the learn the game... ...stuff, so that is good for me. Should be fixing our dye shortage. Some nice growth this episode, though. Some nice, nice growth. We're up to 14 for our standard of living. Our literacy has tapered off a little bit. So I'm going to want to do something to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and build up um universities as well so i've actually been paying very little attention to labor when i was building stuff recently i've been looking at the infrastructure instead so hopefully we're not causing ourselves too many issues but 
yeah, we're, we're going to build up a lot of universities as well. Really do whatever we need to do. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of a boost. We don't need a major boost with some sort of penalty attached to it. Military statistics, good, good, good. That'll help us with our massive army that we're building. We have 50 more barracks joining into the party. Just means we're going to be that much stronger. Uh, this revolution is petering off, so that's good. Uh, Austrian Defensive Pact, sure. And there's that. I do not want to join your custom union. No thank you, Austria. Sorry, but no thank you. And we could swap to a presidential republic that would radicalize the landowners, though. but an autocratic presidential republic does sound pretty funny, to be honest. Can I put through public health insurance now? I mean, poor laws is through, so... We have stopped the revolution. And we're starting to get some issues here, so... Yeah, this might be a good time to really start looking into... Annexing some more of our vassals. If they're going to start having these kind of issues because we could use um, some more direct territory anyway. I'm going to go through and just see if any water tube boilers are actually worthwhile for us at the moment. It does not look like it, that's going to be the case. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that trade route. No problem from me. We'll squash this revolt real quick. Continue boosting our chances to enact public health insurance. But, um... Yeah, I think this video has gone on long enough. I think this is a good place to stop it as well. So if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.